What a view camera allows you to do is basically change this plane of sharp focus. This relationship, this parallel relationship between these three planes is not fixed in a view camera like it is in an SLR, digital uh, film uh, or other. Uh, what it is is a variable sharp focus plane and you accomplish that by adjusting uh, the front or rear standard lens or film uh, along one of the movements that I've showed you. So in this example what I'm doing is I'm tilting the front lens forward as an example. What that does with the plane of sharp focus is it tilts the plane of sharp focus and so, so instead of having like I would with a digital SLR Okay, a plane of sharp focus at the four quarters of the image. What I get when I tilt this is a tilted plane of sharp focus, which remains focused at the four corners of my image. Now, this is basically uh, the important thing to understand about a view camera. It's what a view camera offers you in cr creative or any kind of photography, but for me, creative photography that I just can't achieve with a digital SLR or a film SLR. And I can vary this plane by the amount of tilt, swing, or shift that I apply to the front lens plane. No matter how I turn it, what will happen is the image that the uh, lens captures will tilt in sharp focus. Yes? Do you want to pick up? No. Okay. I mentioned that of those five movements that you have on the front standard, rise, fall, tilt, shift, swing, that tilt and swing were basically different from uh, rise, fall, or shift. And the reason for that is simple. For example, if I take my front lens here, my front lens standard, and I raise it all the way up, what's maintained here is the parallel elements that we talked about. And those are the film plane, lens plane, and the plane of sharp focus. So by moving this lens, if I maintain a parallel line between these three elements, then I really haven't changed the plane of sharp focus that this camera is capable of capturing. Okay, It's not like tilt, which tilted the plane of sharp focus, and it's not like swing that we're about to look at, which is going to change uh, the sharp focus uh, in that manner, but I get basically the same composition. What changes here though as I raise the lens or lower the lens with rise and fall, or if I tilt it side to side, is that this image will adjust within the lens either up and down or left and right, and that's what will be projected onto the back of my uh, round glass here or onto my film. So. In that example, whether I'm raising or lowering the front standard, raising or lowering the back standard, or shifting left and right, front or back, as long as I maintain parallelism between these three planes, and I've basically got a plane of sharp focus that matches what I have in my DSLR with a different composition depending on rise, fall, or shift left or shift right and I control my depth of focus again like I would on a DSLR through aperture. So that's much different from what I get with tilt as we've seen or with what I get with swing which we're about to look at here. So let me put this back into uh, its most parallel and straight configuration. Okay, And so tilt as we said gives us the ability to tilt the plane of our image this way. What I get now when I swing the image is I get my image, the plane of sharpness uh, changes along the lines of the swing and it's basically the same as tilt where this image and what's projected onto the back of the, uh, the film, the film back here, is adjusted based on swing depending on the degree of swing that, uh, that I provide in. So that gives me the ability with a view camera to do, uh, which is really the thing that we all enjoy here as we uh, use these cameras, to bolt tilt my plane of sharp image through tilt on my front standard and change the plane of sharp focus 
by turning or swinging the lens to the left or to the right. Now, the question is why would you want to do this? Well, uh, probably the simplest example to talk about is in landscape photography. So let's say that I'm looking out at the distance here and what I'm looking at is uh, you know, a series of uh, mountains and some are off in the distance and some are up close. Well, if I'm taking a picture with a fixed plane camera, what I have to do is I have to set the depth of field to be very deep so that I can have the mountains in the front and the mountains in the back uh, and the sharpest possible focus. Well, I don't have to do that with a view camera because, first of all, I can determine the incline plane of sharp focus with tilt. So I can decide that I want uh, everything from pretty much in front of my lens on a particular plane uh, through the furthest uh, mountains in the mountain range to be in sharp focus, which would basically give me this sharp focus on these four corners with a tilted plane. And then if I've got mountains that are behind here, I can swing and it would change then my plane of sharp focus to be close in front, a little further, a little further, and then at the furthest point off in the distance. That's what a view camera offers. And then, uh, in addition, uh, since I'm not controlling my plane of sharp focus with the aperture, with depth of field, I get the additional benefit of having creative control over my image by setting depth of field. So let's talk a little bit about how that works.